Hey, GC. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving feast. Courtesy of the lunch staff, I'm Daniel Crump here with Madison Ogg. Our school is always looking for ways to help the community. You can help by, collection, by collecting Christmas items such as new toys, hats, gloves, or baby items. Please bring your items to the wrap boxes in the comments. Seniors, get ready because tomorrow is strictly business. You must dress up. Guys, wear dress pants, dress shirt, and a tie, and girls should wear dress pants or skirt with a nice blouse or sweater. Business dresses are acceptable as well. No flip-flops, sandals, or tennis shoes are allowed. Interview times are posted in the commons, and be in the gym lobby at least 10 minutes before your interview time. To leave afterwards, you must have a signed permission slip turned into Miss Gaddis. All juniors applying for GSP, your application is due tomorrow. See a guidance counselor if you have questions. Bow 4 will be with all seniors regarding graduation. Announcements during CCR on Monday in the pack. They will be back next Friday as well as December 3rd to take orders for these announcements. They will also be taking their taking makeup class ring orders on these days as well. Do you need community service hours? Come on out and ring bells for the Salvation Army. Two-hour shifts are available on Friday evenings and all day Saturdays starting the day after Thanksgiving. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Services Center to sign up and bring a friend. Sophomores, are you a school leader? You have an opportunity to re represent yourself at the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Conference this summer. Deadlines for these applications are November 16th. Coming up during the break, Colby Wilford gives us the scoop on a new addition to a very popular series for gamers. Welcome to Eagle Entertainment. Now imagine a world where America and other major countries have placed their military with unmanned drones and weapons. Now imagine what would happen if the enemy stole the keys. Well, in the latest installment of the Call of Duty franchise, Black Ops 2 gives you that experience. Black Ops 2 is the latest installment in the COD franchise. Black Ops 2 takes place in the year 2025 in the 1970s through the 80s. You play as David Mason, the son of Black Ops 1 hero Alex Mason, and he is the leader of a special force unit that is assigned to track down and capture the game's main villain, Raul Menendez. The game is the first in the series to introduce future technology and weapons, plus a story that adapts to the choices you make. As always, the multiplayer returns and is better than ever with the new perks plus the pick Black Ops 2 at 9 out of 10 and is a definite buy. For Eagle Entertainment, I'm Colby Wolford. Hey GC, I hope you're enjoying your harvest season. It's time for your GC weather forecast. Today it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 53 and a low of 33. Friday, it's going to become even sunnier with a high of 56 and a low of 33. And on Saturday, it's going to get up to about 59 degrees with a low of 35, mostly clear. This has been your GC Weather Forecast.
This Saturday, Mayfield and Graves County High Schools are partnering with Purchase Ford to help raise $8,000 in support of both schools, clubs, and the Graves County Football Eagle Foundation as part of Ford Motors Company Drive for Your School program. With the proceeds from the Tim Tebow event, the school plans on rubberizing the track field in the spring. Also with this event, as well as the Peyton Manning event in April, the foundation is looking to fund an indoor sports facility along with other future projects. For every person who test drives a new Ford vehicle at this one day event, Ford Motors will, will donate $20 to the school. Also, if you test drive a new 2013 Ford Escape, another $10 will be given to our school. You must be 18 and older and have a valid driver's license to participate. Remember, this event is this Saturday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. at Graves County High School. If you can't drive, then get your parents out here to take these vehicles for a spin to help raise money for our school.